you can just you can just sense that he's he's kind of he's built this this wall up now. He's built this like facade that he's going to carry forward with him. And I guess you in particular are playing a character who was in those those first films. Did did you kind of look at anything from Donald Sutherland's performance and be like, not necessarily want to copy it, but just yeah. kind of show the kind of seeds of what he was? Because obviously it's a very different version of the yeah. character, but how did you try and match anything, I guess? Yeah, it's, it's, it's a very different version of the character because yeah. he's not become the president yet. He's yeah. not become uh, kind of his evil self yet. Uh, so I was very wary of kind of getting there too soon with him because mm. I think the reason people are going to enjoy this is seeing a version of him that they don't know yet yeah. um, before he kind of turns bad. Um, but that being said, like I kind of broke the character into three parts, which is like Corio at the beginning when he's young and kind of naive and ambitious, and then like Coriolanus when he's kind of stepping into manhood, and then um, kind of like future President Snow at the very end when um, he's kind of closer to being that later version. Um, and I think the only thing I, I tried to do in any way that nodded towards the the Corio that we've already seen is like. Towards the end, there's a vocal shift that I think mm. you notice that um, is also in the writing and the script. Uh, you can just you can just sense that he's he's kind of he's built this this wall up now. He's built this like facade that mm. he's going to carry forward with him. So I think towards the end of the film, you kind of see that start to creep in a little bit. I mean, I think the the, the thing with casting is a you know you want like you know I really wanted somebody with blue eyes, so you mm. could go okay, you know Donald has blue eyes, yeah. and you want to sort of believe like oh yeah okay this person can maybe grow into somebody that looks like Donald Sutherland. You need somebody that has these sort of intelligence and the sophistication, mm -hmm. so you believe you could have that um, to become Donald Sutherland. Um, I didn't want him to mimic Donald Sutherland in any way. I wanted him yeah. to have freedom. But he's also, he's Juilliard trained. I mean, he's like an amazing actor, and, and I knew he could do all the emotional sort of facets we needed for the journey. I think the real trick is in the adaptation. Mm -hmm. That when you know we know we're starting with a villain and people like hate Snow from the movies and now we're seeing him, young, not fully formed. It's how do we sort of characterize him in a way? How do we get the audience to be behind him, to root for him, to empathize with him? Um, and the really tricky thing is, but to maintain while we're getting them to do that is to maintain the sort of need a sense of ambition, um, mm. greed, the need of power, some of the darkness that's in him from his father, from his experiences in the war, maybe some genetics, um, so that when he descends into darkness, it feels truthful and believable. Yeah. Well, yes, and, and you have, you know, it's much easier to play a hero or a villain mm. than to play both. Yeah. And to play someone who is discovering, you know, my kids are about the age of these characters, mm -hmm. and, and you are pulled in a lot of di different directions, and you are figuring out who you are at that age and what you believe. And particularly, like, the first time that, you know, you fall for somebody and it upends everything that you thought you knew about yourself and your world, that felt like to take, to, to find a, an actor who had the complexity, the nuance, the subtlety, the layers, mm. and the, just the craft and the control of his craft that Tom had was a, was a really tall order. And then obviously for Rachel, you have to find someone who can play an equally complex character, yeah. but she also has to have an amazing voice. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's well, a lot to ask.